Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my glowing extended I said glowing. My glowing and my growing extended beautiful family. Thank you so much for the love and support. You know it's truly appreciated. And you know, if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just really give you a good insight or good vibe that you really truly appreciate it please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share it's greatly appreciated so with all that being said you know i'm sending so much love and um uplift whatever you're needing to get through your days you know your moments or whatever i'm sending all that beautiful vibrations towards you anybody that's coming in here with that raggedy low low vibration energy that you keep coming in to try to block me from destroy whatever i got going on everything is divinely protected heavily loved so everything you're putting on me is coming right back to you except it's going to be 20 million times full except with mine is going to be healing upliftment light and calmness which you definitely need in your life so the video that i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas the major shift is on the night making big boss choices be selective of the decisions but be um but you can't be selective of the consequences that's true that is so daggone true you know you're going through uh, so much stuff right now where is you know you, you are like loving to be by yourself right now i don't know about y'all but i like being by myself where i used to be like dad you know i wish i had a friend that i could talk to i always talk to my guys i always talk to my family that passed on but be wanting something physical you know um but it's just like now i'm going through so many different changes i like being in solitude you know i've really been stepping back i haven't really been doing videos that much but i've been focusing and reflecting on me you know just being able to stay low-key about it moving in silence as i always do i know my enemies hate that but oh well you gonna have to just keep on hating baby because i don't be telling nobody you know and it'll just be going through different things that i can really appreciate that goes on and a lot of times it's just like i'll it'll be that aha moment when i make my videos and i say uh-huh y'all knew i was gonna do that anyway it was just like yeah you know you be wanting to do it it'll just be just sometimes how you you, you're really searching for the answer or clarity or something and God will bring God or universe bring somebody into your life where you know you, you're really wanting an answer towards something it'll be something you answer towards somebody else is like is that what you've been trying to show me the whole time yeah and it is you know and it'd be like that okay thank you and you know you're going through these different things where things may be really challenging you right now because i think it's like mercury is in retrograde right now so there'll be a lot of different things where you're seeing a lot of people going out your life a lot of people just not talking to them anymore um and there's going through swift changes like everybody has had an expiration date in your life it was tend to be in your life they'll still be there you'll be different people that you probably you know you still being able to that vibe but now it's like you really stepping back because universe has gotten you towards that place of where you got to be in isolation you know taking more heavy uh heavy uh pit stops of self-care you know they're really telling you be heavy on your self-care if something telling you hey go rest and you got the chance to do, do that you know if you had that time where it's telling you be in solitude you know you have to rest your mind you got too much stuff going on especially if things are just really not unfolding the way you thought they were or you really just trying to understand what's taking place and it's like more it's like when you know you're doing good and you're making the right choices if you're forgiving you're allowing yourself to let past go seeing the life lessons of what past has taught you and brought you into your life you're understanding why certain people you had to let go was just like you know it, it took that heaviness off your life where you know it was really uh what is it it was really blocking your blessings or really slowing you down or it made you question life within itself anything that was not bringing you any kind of joy or fulfillment into your life you know you had to be able to let that go and it's just like anytime you make a decision to cut somebody off or make a right decision you feel ultimate peace from it you know hey that was the best one to go you know so it'd be those different things it's even when um you have constant enemies coming into your life that's doing everything they possibly can to block your blessings you have to understand they're doing exactly what they need to do you know this is it in your history in the making his story is his story you know he's using you for those different things because it's just like if you don't have those people in your life that's always challenging you you would never know where your strength is when you know you speak in truth a lot of people are going to bring doubt towards your life to say you can't do this you can't do that your dreams is too big this and this and that how are you going to tell me my dreams too big and you already done gave up on yours i'm not looking to you for any kind of information where you done gave up on your stuff and you were cutting corners to get to it anyway and you weren't really doing the honestest things to bring it into your life i'm not asking you i'm asking a 
person where you know hey if fate is sending me this way yeah it may be a longer road it may be going somewhere but usually if it's taking longer to come in I have to remind myself a lot when usually when things are taking longer to come in because you're being taught a lot more they want you to be able to experience a lot more things that's going to bring something into your life that you are generally gen genuinely be able to appreciate and you're going to be able to grow from that you're not going to just say oh i got it this set part i'm living good money's good you know life is good i can vacation anytime i want to or you're going to be able to see this i was a trendsetter just right there and see how much blessings i brought in not just for myself but other people that were watching me other people that were guided towards me that i learned from and they're learning from me do i want to stop there no I'm going to go ahead and bring more stuff into my life and being able to do that because you being used as an example, not just for yourself, but you may be even people around you. You may have been the goat. You may have been the troublemaker. You've been the black sheep. It eventually came into the goat because you were able to read the line between the bullish that keep people kept doing. You kept on seeing how people had to fake flex just to be able to do stuff and finesse stuff on those things and got mad. When you didn't have to do that, it just came towards your way because you naturally had that that vibration that always brought good things to you. But a lot of times it also brought bad things to you in your life. And you're changing, you switching up them phrases. You know, it's like, man, you know, I now I'm making myself better you know these different things in my life may get on my nerves but I know it's for my better benefit it's not happening to me but it's happening for me it's just being able to know that because there'll be certain things in your life you if you living on that love language that vibration of where if I'm you know when if I'm vocalizing with you and we conversing I want that you know because life and death goes out of people talk all the time you can breathe left life into somebody's life but you can also breathe death into it if it's meant for it it's gonna happen you know, but these are those different things. When it's on a universal love language, we can converse all day on day. That's what I got. But if you all are with that drama and all that daggone projection and fear and stuff, I'm just going to put you in your place and keep it moving. I ain't got time or just not even, you know, you just don't even acknowledge you. That's the best one is when you don't acknowledge it. Because I, I peep a lot of stuff and I'm like, oh, here we go again. You know, it had to be at that. But it had to be at that point. That's just showing you what people's levels are on. Because right now, it's just like when I tell you energy is getting heavy, energy is getting heavy. A lot of times when you know you are doing good, God going to keep continuing. It can piss you off. Okay, you already know that. It's, you're like, look, I'm already doing what I got to do and I'm tired of you pushing me because I want you to create more within your life. You are right there and I need you to create more in there. You're going through that major shift. You're going through that major change. And these are the different things why I'm making you have big boss moves. I created you for that. That's the reason why I put you all through these trials and tribulations, brought all these goons into your life so they can do all this, this, and that to you. And you still had to find a way out of that vibration, going untouched, unscathed. But you became a warrior within that. They can't see the scars that you got. Even if it's like physical, that mess could have been emotional and mental, you know, spiritual and everything else. Those things made you a beast, made you untouchable. Because you're going to have some folks out there that's going to want to place doubt on your life. And you All you are is going to laugh at them because you know who's behind you. Regardless of who's against you, it only matters. When you got, you know the, the most highs up there on you, it ain't going to matter about how many other people are going for you. Because it don't matter. You can't do what God can do in my life. You know, you think you may be able to, but you know, I already got all this, you know, I'm anointed, I'm chosen, and this and this and that. All of us are going through these things. All of us is going through these things. But you are in that universal love language. I want to be able to converse with somebody that helps me stimulate my mind. And I'm not talking about some stuff where you're trying to compare, you know, journeys and life and stuff like that. Because I, I'm not in no competition with you. I'm in competition with myself. I'm not about that life. I want us all to be able to win. But I'm not in no competition with you. I can't compare my journey to yours because it moved different. It speak different. We all, only thing we have in the same, that we have uh, uh, the same, uh, let me see how you want to be able to put it. You have the same situations, but they're different scenarios. Maybe it, you don't went through some very harsh stuff where it makes you look at people the same. Where it's hard for you to give, forgive the people that really put some real damage into your life. That really messed you up emotionally, mentally, sexually, whatever. It, it was really doing that. Being able to find a peace when a benefit of a storm that created you to be that storm. You know, wanting to be able to place doubt into your life. You got so many haters on. You got enemies that you don't even notice your enemies. You Half of the people that are mad at you don't even know why they're mad at you. Except they following the leader on that. And you ain't doing nothing but mind your own business. You know, and that lets you know you must have something very good if you got a whole bunch of haters. You know, I always tell people, you ain't stopping. You ain't, you, you ain't popping if the devil ain't trying to stop it. 
you know, he if he ain't stopping you and he ain't trying to pr pr bring people all into your life to try to downgrade you in every way, every time you're trying to come up, oh, you ain't doing nothing. You know, and it'll be those different times where I'd be questioning God, like, why, you know, I'm trying to move in a favor that you sent me to do, and I kept having to deal with folks like that. Like, I don't even, you know, I don't know these people, don't even care about them. Hell, I want them to mind their own business. Why do they keep messing with me? Because you're walking in your purpose. If you ain't walking in your purpose, why do you feel like people are so hard to want to know all up in your business, one of the next move you make? They ain't worried about their life, but they worried more about yours. Because the devil sent them to do that. The devil sent them to do that. And the God keep telling you, keep moving. You protect it. Keep moving. You know, there'll be different things that's going on into your life where you're making better choices for yourself. You had to really reflect. You know, that's why it was just like a lot of times I used to hate it when I used to always have good intentions for people. And, you know, my payback is that you bring your, you know, your ego towards me or your insecurity towards me. I'm like, yo, I got enough of my own. I ain't trying to put up with yours. And this is what I got to deal with. It just lied my lesson. Hey. You got to be very selective about what you talk about, regardless of what people say. Oh, we ain't going to trip. We ain't going to do this. We ain't going to do that. And I go through that every day on time with a lot of people. It's just like it's amazing with the handful of people that do know my my situation to a T of what I allow people to know. And they still treat me the same. Those are the ones that I'm really, truly blessed for. But the other ones, I'm blessed too because both of y'all make me grow. You know, these are the different things, but it allow me to know there'll be certain things I don't talk about. Even if I do and I start feeling that shift even before you like to admit it yourself, you already out. <laughs> you are already out. And there'll be a lot of times when you're going through so many different changes, you know, universe and God will send them right back just to see if history going to repeat itself with you. Did you learn your lesson from those people? They coming back, hey, stranger, ah, oh, bye. <laughs> you know, be like those different things, mm-mm. Block, I blocked you one or two times. Why you keep coming back? You know, it'll be those different things. But I still still send love towards them because it would be first time when I had gone gone through those different things. It'll be, and I know somebody did really, really did me dirty. And I'm like, maybe don't, baby, don't make me go take a trip with you. <laughs> don't make me come get it. If I come down there, it's gonna be a problem. And it'll be those different times where Universal's telling you you still got bad 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 blood for those people. And I was just trying to see if you're going to forgive them. They know exactly what they did, but they were moving through ego. They were moving through jealousy, envy, you know, comparison. They don't have nothing to do with you. Even though they attracted that to you, that had nothing to do with you. That showed you where exactly where their character and their mindset is, you know. You know, or you'll have different people that they life got good and they want to come in and you still working on yours. They want to be able to, you know, rub in your face about what, what was going on. And then God told you, don't do that. Because that's showing you where you, your life, even though you haven't got exactly where the pinnacle you are pat, surpassing to reach, your vibration, the, just the way your journey is, it still bothers them because they had to make a whole U-turn to come back into your life. Just let you know what they finally got and you still sitting here and you ain't received it. And it's like, it's okay. I'm be happy for you. But what made you want to do that? It's like, you don't li uh, that allows you to know. That's what their mindset is because they're still focused on you. They're still focused on you. Because a lot of people, when they focus on their own self, you know, if it's meant for y'all to interact, you ain't going to go all the way out their way to find you to let them know, nan, nan, the boo boo, this is what I got. You know, and it'll allow you to see that. It's like, see what universal vibration are they, you know, what vibration, because they ain't universe vibration they're they're projecting towards you you're making the decisions to not allow yourself to be like oh you still on that comparison stuff oh, okay you still haven't healed from ego okay you still oh, okay okay all right you know have a good one block i'm still wishing good towards your way and i'm really pushing healing towards your way because i see you still haven't learned that situation yet but it allowed you to say don't take it personal because i know so different things will come into my life that'll happen and then it'll be that song by Jermaine Jackson from back in the day. It's really showing my age because back in the 80s when it was like, Don't take it personal. Take the bitter with the sweet. Easy come, easy go. It's like you see it. I, I cannot take it personal. That's the most healthiest approach that you can have with stuff. And a lot of times that's hard because it's just like I'm that type of person. If you flex on me like that, I'm going to really put you in your place. Like why do you keep a... You know, what am, I, what am I doing that's really bothering your soul? But that makes you know that you need to stay focused on you. You too, you focused on the wrong thing. And what I'm doing don't have nothing to do with you. Because I'm not making this about you. I'm making this about me. But you making every move that I make about you. You know, and I have to deal with that with a lot of different people. And it was just at that point where God said, don't worry about that. You know, stay focused on you. They only watching you because they... 
they just watching you. You already know the excuses or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it made me to make those right decisions. Because it's like when anytime you go against something because you're moving out of emotion and anger, it's always going to come back and bite you. That's what they're telling you. Be careful with the decisions you make into your life. Because right now is very critical to you. There's a lot of people that are trying all they can. All they can. And you'll know it too. And if you get a, a spiritual chill when I say this, you already know. You got some people around you that's trying to make you self-sabotage. Do anything to come out that world of peace. Don't allow them suckers to win. <laughs> okay? They're doing every possible way. Because they see that there's a lot of people they already know. They can't be a part of your journey. So they're doing everything they possibly can to make you self-sabotage. Because they already know. You already got karma coming your way just for messing with that anointed one. When we commonly told you. In every daggone language. Except you want to be stupid and dumb like you don't understand what we're saying. The words that are coming out of my mouth. Mind your business. Leave that person alone. Go focus on you. Go hold yourself accountable for your own actions. Heal. Be honest. Hold yourself accountable. Now I want to come back towards this person because I want to see. I, I can't. They, they can't leave me behind. I got to go with that one. Their life seems too bright and I can't be able to. No matter how you keep on trying to force yourself in somebody's life, God going to always put you back. There's some kind of block that's going to be there. And they'll keep on telling you, don't worry. You heavily protected. You know, because it'll be a lot of times where we get angry at God about certain things that happen. You have to be able to give God that grace because you don't know what he protected you from. I done told y'all about folks trying to sit up here and assassinate me where he pulled a gun out on me and couldn't even do it. You know, and knowing who the people are fooled fool behind that. And I had to be able to deal with certain things like that. I was like, God, you already know me. When it comes to this, you know, I got an inside goon on myself. You know, you, I'll be one of those ones to take it to the street. You, want, you don't play with me in my life like that. He's like, don't worry about that. Don't even worry about that. I'll make you be in the house with a people that is trying to kill you. And this this is how you know that your power is is, is about something that is just like no. Because any other person in my head, let me move on before this person puts something. He's doing everything they possibly can and everything they keep going against you is failing. But yet you are still rising and they're really trying to understand how. And, and there's a lot of people that are looking at you like how everything that I placed on your life, into your life, on your life. How are you still moving? By God. <laughs> you want to go question if you, that's the person you need to be mad at. But all your decisions have consequences to it. So you got to understand that. You, that's why they're moving right now where they're putting you in isolation where you can really see. Go within. And understand because there's a lot of things you may be dealing with right now is very heavy. You're really dealing with this. You really trying to focus on your peace right now. So much stuff is popping off on you where it's like if you like me, I'm that type of person. You keep poking that bear if you want to. Keep poking that bear because when I tell you there's a lot of different people I see this, and I guess it's supposed to be a DV month, you know, with all that stuff, and that that mess goes heavy with my vibration of everything that I deal with. A lot of that, and I'm seeing a lot of people go through that, and a lot of people are holding folks responsible for that because there's so many people trying to save face, you know, and I'm just like, if you don't want somebody putting you out about the dirt you doing behind closed doors, you know what the key thing is? Stop doing it. Just stop doing it because it's going to be that point where you saving somebody that has no problem tarnishing your name to other people. It's getting to that point where it says stop saving those people, the ones that are trying to send you, speaking death over your name. And you're trying to make sure that they you save it. I don't want them looking like, no, they did it. Speak up for yourself. If anybody who's ruined their own reputation is them. That's why there's a lot of things that's going on in your life. There will be a lot of times that I said something. I used to get angry because I'm like, you making me speak on this stuff. And I got to still be around that daggone energy. And it's like, because I'm not done with you yet. I'm not done with them yet. You know, you're going through a lot of different things where it's telling you to make better choices. I'm telling you to speak up for a reason. Because that's going to let you know, no matter what you speak on, if it's meant to happen, it's going to happen. But if not, if I know I got some a power over your life, ain't nothing somebody going to place on your person is going to happen if it ain't meant to teach a lesson either towards that person or towards you. So these are the different things they're telling you to make these big boss choices into your life. You might be going through some real raggedy stuff where it just seems like folks don't want to let you loose. You try to be in your peace and everybody want to focus on everything that you're doing except themselves. It's okay. Allow them to do that because you're showing them exactly no matter what you put on my life, I'm going to still grow from it. I'm going to still empower myself by it. I'm going to still allow myself to be heavy in my truth while you sit up here draped all in your whole lot and of illusions. I'm allowing myself to step out the matrix. 
I'm building up on my truth. I don't matter. It don't matter to me. You know, I'm not trying to go out here and make anybody look bad. But if this is what's going on in my life, I'm going to speak up on it. I got people sitting up here trying to put stuff on my life every day. Trying to place daggone vet spells and vanity spells and chaotic spells and mirror spells. The heavy in definition where you sit up here uh, abusing your power, which you've been stripped from. Because you're doing everything in your power to keep your dirt that you did on to towards somebody's life. To make sure it's on that. But you ain't got no problem with laughing and mocking until God starts holding you atoning for your actions. So I keep praying for my enemies. Because you're going to need it. I'm still going to be moving in my power. But I'm still going to be grateful because the people that actually were admired by the things that I have going on in my life. And the ones that did everything to destroy it. I'm going to still be appreciative for y'all. Because if both of those weren't there, I wouldn't be where I am now. And it allows me to know I'm not moving in fear. I'm not moving in fear. You know, I thought that mess that happened a couple of weeks ago. That really scared me to not want to come out of my house after that gun was pulled on me. You know. Made me not want to go outside, but God was like, if this, you know, if I stop that now, this ain't going to happen no more. You deal exactly what I told you to do. You took that down on picture to the cops and they, they dealing with it. Allow them to do that. Still working on you. Still move through you. These are the different things that's taking place in your life where you making those serious choices. You thinking before you react. Instead of you reacting, you responding, if, even if it was worth the response. Because a lot of times I see the different stuff that goes on around. People are like, oh, I ain't worried about you, this and this and that. Then why are you worrying? Why are you listening all the time? Why are you got people watching me? Why are you creating images of en enemies towards people? Because I'm speaking on my truth. My choices is not to make look, anybody look bad. But if it's God's telling me to go ahead and speak up for about the things that I'm going through, it's not to make me a victim of my circumstances. I'm a conqueror over my you know circumstances. I'm a victor over those too. You know, these are the different things that God will show you. I'm going through this and that. And there's a lot of things I really don't speak on that I go through on a daily basis where I'm just like, you are really desperate. You, you people are really desperate in my vibration of the different things that's going on because it's scaring the shit out of them on different things that everything you put on my life is all following it's all falling it's all crumbling because I'm making the right choices I go to God about every day on thing before I do be sometimes I gotta catch myself and then I end up having to pay for it because the fact is I knew better you know and it'll make you mad because it'll be just different things that'll come into your life and it'll be like somebody's doing something because they jealous of you or they envy you or whatever they got self hate so they push that on everybody and then you pop off because you sit up here defending yourself you gonna catch it before they do because you already knew that person they don't, don't let that person in your energy you did exactly what you want to do you already see what low vibrations they're moving on why you allow yourself to lower your vibrations to meet you this is at that point where if somebody can't come at you at that vibration you are at oh they weren't meant to anyway that's why the universe keeps blocking them it'll be a different time where you can go to somebody's house where God continually tell you stop leave that person alone and all of a sudden that person don't answer the door or when you call them th their phone don't answer or they you send them a text and they don't respond because God's telling you you at a vibration where that person cannot be at no more they, I took them out your life stop opening that door after I closed it and you're going to get to that point where you're going to padlock that mess just so you don't go back because you don't know what people are pushing on your life. There's a lot of time people see blessings flowing through you. Because there's a lot of things. There, there's a lot of people that their life is gone. For the things that you face. But yet you're still here. For a reason. And you you don't start seeing that into your life. Because it's telling you to make the best moves that can possible. And if there's something that you don't know if you're going the right way or you're on the right path. God always said go take it to him first. Or anytime you before you in, do anything, take it to him first. Because you know you are a triple threat. The more you allow yourself to move, and it could be like the way I look at my life is where I see everybody in their power. Anybody who I'm related to or anybody who got a hold of this situation I'm in. It's like a whole bunch of lines. And I'm walking in them lines ain't eight in a good minute. And God's like, keep moving forward. And I'm looking at these things. I'm looking like a whole snack. And he was like, keep moving. They ain't gonna bite you. Keep moving. They'll let them growl all they want to. They can't touch you. Let them try and see what happened. And they keep moving you like that. And it's going to get to that point. You're going to get to that finish line. You're going to be that exact one. And being able to tell people, I don't had to go through the worst of the worst. This is what I had to go through. This is what I had to face. 
You know, you don't went through the most worst thing you can possibly go through. You know, for a person, it will be just like you know how me and my friends used to say, how, what, "How's the worst way to get your life taken?" Oh my God, dog, anything that don't let you go to sleep and it happen while you sleep, I think that's that's the worst time anything can happen when you feeling it. You know, but it'll be different times where I can sit up here and see. You know, where I, I there'll be different times where I have to be able to say I'm blessed. Cause there'll be times where I complain about different things and I tell the universe well, I'm tired of this and I'll allow myself to look at uh like these videos where these women have really went through some stuff and they are actually not here anymore and it makes me very very uh appreciative and just show me you know you could have been one of those people because it was just so many different times where you know my life should have been gone I should have been a hashtag you know I should have been knowing you know uh God's wi-fi uh, how many times somebody done tried to take my life and it didn't happen so it's trying to tell me you know you are protected even though you know you feel like you're going through hell you don't know what i protected you from you don't know well i'm telling you certain people that you need to keep out of your life because there's a reason you know and then it got to that point where i kept being hard-headed and you let me know this is what they doing and we say boom <laughs> you almost had a gun pulled out on you see that per you know this person did this this that and the third on you you know but it's at that point right now i don't care you know it's about me growing. It's about me healing. And if me telling the truth bothers your soul to where you get mad because I'm speaking, this because it's the truth. I don't have that time where I'm trying to look for validation towards other people because I want to look, you know, I want people's approval. I have my I'll, I'll only how I feel about myself is the only approval I need other than God. I don't worry about that. Either you like me or you don't. You you believe what I say or you don't. I'm just doing what I'm told to by my higher father. I'm going to go ahead and speak on these different things that, you know, many people go through. I got to deal with emotional and mental abuse almost every day on day, trying to see how I can, you know, go, how you can poke the bear, how you can try to trigger somebody just because you got your own situations you don't want to heal from. But I still sit up here and, uh, you know, pray for them because of the different things they go through because I see it's not getting any better it's getting hella worse you know and it'll be those times like you know I look and I say I never want my life to be that way and this is what happens when you choose to not allow yourself to face what is really bugging you what what makes it do that do you have abandonment issues do you have neglect issues do you have mommy issues do you have daddy issues you don't know, have all those different things and I was moving codependent you know on different things I was moving you know through toxic vibes karmic cycles soul knots and all those different things and when I see I don't want that to be pushing out on my kids even though that shit got pushed out on my kids you know and I'll try to sit up here and rearrange that you know I was like you know what nobody comes in instructions when you're being a parent you don't but I seen the negativity I was placing on my kids and I held myself accountable for that you know and even though that even I changed so much they got into that vibration they still wanted me to hold myself responsible for the person I used to be and it got to that point where I was taking getting taken advantage of because I had to go out my way to keep proving I was no longer that. And then it got to that point where they're of age, you know what, if they want to be set on that vibration of wanting to still want to, you know, use that vibration against me of not wanting to forgive me, I have to be able to let that go. I did what I could do. I'm honest about that. You know, if you want to create, still make me the villain because I won't allow you to manipulate me and I put heavy boundaries up, let that be. I don't have time to be correcting everybody's lie that they want to place on me because I'm not, you know, am I allowing myself to be manipulated or am I allowing myself to be, you know, being as somebody's narcissistic punching bag or somebody's doormat or you can't, you know, you can use me for what you want and when you have what you have, you can discard me. Now I'm at that point where, you know, I, I see this becomes a habit for you. You know, so I had to allow myself to cut off people that I really love and I held tightly. But it's just like God said, let them go. If it's meant for them to come back in your life, they will come back into your life. But they will come back into your life where they're healed and you'll be meeting on that exact vibration. Because right now you are having to make some heavy choices that will really be hard for you. You won't have to let some people go, whether it's your baby mama, your baby daddy, your husband, your wife, even your family. If something is attached to you where you have to be very selective on what you talk about or what you can't be vulnerable in front of those people because they're going to use that mess against you when they want to get you out of your vibration of peace or anytime somebody 
somebody talks to you is always negative or low balling vibrations because they got some inferior issues or whatever they got going on, you got to let them go. Let them go. That's the best choice for yourself because a lot of times, universe is like, when you want better, you're going to make better choices. If this is not something that is rising you above all the confusion that people constantly want to keep you in, let them destroy their own lives. But do not allow your stuff to go right with them. I'm choosing you for different. People want to be being and okay with being that way. All right, we're going to deal with them in our own way. We're we telling you, no, this is not for you. This is what is not for you. You are going, you are going higher than that. I want you to make better choices in your life. I'm giving you vibration to make a bigger boss move. I'm giving you that time where I want you to share your story with people and not feel a certain type of way of worrying about, oh my gosh, am I going to get negative backlash or if people are going to really resonate with what I'm going through and what I'm saying. And it's just like, if it's meant to, people are going to understand you if that's that vibration they're on. People are going to understand you if these are the exact same things that they're going through. That's the reason why I have you speaking in your truth. Even though it's going, to dis it's going to just really destroy a lot of people's illusions and it's okay. Because I tell people all the time, if you're not doing these things to me, you ain't got to worry about somebody sitting up here seeing you on a cop anyway. But why are you worried about other people's judgment on you when there is nobody whose past is clean? Nobody's past is clean. Nobody can't place judgment on you than God. But you worry about how people see you for a place of judgment. Like, who are you to judge me? You know, what good things you going to, you know, I want to meet the first person. I always tell people, I don't try to place judgment on nobody. Now, if you ask me my, you know, my insight on how I feel about certain things, I'm going to honestly tell you. But I'm telling you, you may not like what I'm going to say, but I'm going to give you that, you know, I'm being that way to be able to help you learn just like I had to learn. There's a lot of pills it was hard for me to digest even when I know that that was right. And I had to be able to take corrective criticism because I always feel you can tell the difference between corrective criticism or if somebody's trying to help you grow or it's being passive aggressive to where that person want to place doubt in your life because that's the type of person they are. They always want to look down on somebody when somebody's trying to grow. You're going to be able to tell the difference, you know, between those vibrations. But there are a lot of things that are going to give you in that correct vibration. This is teaching you. Because God will, you know, he'll straight up say, hey, I need you to be patient. And I'm like, if you say that word to me one more time, me and you about to fight. Patient, what you going to do? <laughs> you don't have no choice but to be patient. Because you can't move this until I'm ready for you to move. Don't worry about what all these folks is doing. You focus on me. What did I promise you? You know, because right now, everybody's faith is really being tried right now. Because you know, if you put in work, you know, you're doing the right things by letting things go that no longer serving you. Being able to appreciate the past and the lessons that came along with that and learn from them, but also let them go. You're allowing yourself to show your affirmations, your, you know, your uh, mantras and showing God grace about everything he's taken on into your life as well as taking away. You are doing the right things. So you know good things going to come to you. But if you know you're doing stuff in the opposite, I'm going to just allow that just to sit there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't wanting nobody no more because it's just at that point. We all grown. We all got common sense. And a lot of times certain things is not common with a lot of folks. So you want to keep doing things in a certain way. And what you put out is what you get back. You know? So those are the different things. Oh, that was what I supposed to be saying. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> as soon as I said that, my nose started itching like crazy. But, you know, we're all going through these ascensions. Like, right now, I know right before I did this video, I was cold as I don't know what. Now I feel like I got fire put up under my butt because I'm like, God, dog, it's hot. But, you know, you're going through these daggone different changes right now that's really speaking volumes into your life. You may not understand them. You may be going through things that's frustrating the heck out of you. And universe knows that what you are facing right now is like... If it, it may feel like the pit and the pendulum towards you, but this is like God's grace is this em, em, embodying your life. Because what you're going through and something is going to impact you in the most powerful way that you didn't see coming, it ain't going to hit, it's going to hit different. It's really going to hit different. Because these are the different things you're going through that's really speaking power into your life. Because you're making b big boss moves by allowing yourself, even when people treat you hellish and they keep constantly doing that because they see you in your peace and that disturbs the heck out of people's demons because they're seeing no matter what I put on that person's life they're still finding a way to heal from that I don't like that I want them to be upset I want them to be focused on more what I'm doing I want them to be able to get a reaction you are getting a reaction it's just not the one that you want it's just like okay we see they're into that low vibration does that have anything to do with me no even if they're projecting toward me it has nothing to do with me 
that I see them trying to do everything they can for me to self-sabotage and it's not happening I'm just allowing myself to go into my hole and allow myself to keep staying focused on me you got too many issues and I'm still sending healing towards your way and a lot of times we can say I keep praying for my enemy I keep praying for my karmic I keep praying for that person that keeps doing everything they want to me and hell keeps breaking loose and I had to be able to be that vibration you know, because it's like, they, they keep telling you, karma is really hitting people. And I used to be, obviously, you know, karma's not hitting them too much because they, they still doing the same dumb shit they keep doing. They ain't doing nothing right. And it was just like, no, it's freaking them out. Because that truth is weighing heavy on people. And there's a lot of people too terrified to go back and hold themselves accountable for the stuff that they know that was wrong. You know, you may have people that are laughing at you. Let them laugh because the truth on the, you know, truth on the other foot, if, if that, that was, you know... If destiny was to change and it was them, trust me, the main people that are laughing at you wouldn't even made it as far as you have. That's the reason why they laugh. Let them laugh. But it's just that any time when they do that, just think about that. Let them laugh. They want to mock at you because you're crying, you're stressed out, you're, tr you know, you are at least allowing yourself to see where that healing needs to take place. Them folks ain't even touching that with a 10 foot pole because they know right when they have to hold themselves accountable, tell the truth, be honest about that, stop projecting on people, stop living in illusion and matrix and stuff, trying to get people to love them. And when even half of people that you, you looking for that for don't even love their own daggone self. You could, it's like, she wanted her other foot, baby, you wouldn't have made it as far as I am. Goodbye. <clears throat> and be gone about your business. And you still send love towards that way. Because those people are dealing with demons that you never understand. You know, you only can understand yours. And I said, me and mom, we got eight spoon cones. Like, hey, you know, we cool. You just, hey, you just stay in your daggone cage. Because last time you almost made me have to go sell my whole house to get bail money. <laughs> I can't deal with you. But, you know, we all cool. You know, you know your demons by names. You had to love that darkness for you to be able to stand solid into your life. You can, there is no part of yourself that you cannot grace the presence of your uncomfortability of the things that brought you on this path where you can go straight to light. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work that way. You had to be okay with the things that you, you went through, the things that people wanted to shame you for. Nobody's perfect. But if people want to keep bringing your past up, that's exactly where they need to be. If people want to sit up here and try to keep putting that mask on you that they made on you, they need to be in the past too. And just like, no, I love this face. This is all truth in here. You are just a whole hot mess of a whole lie that you want to continue to do. And then you go ahead and do that. I'm fine with that. No judgment. I just don't need that in my life no more. I'm not looking for approval from you. As long as I got approval from up high, I'm not caring about what people say about me. I'm not doing that. You know, I just move in the way I move. Because there's a lot of times when you make conscious decision about what's going to make life better for you, that's when it's going to be a dis disruption because people want you to stay docile. They want you to stay dumb. They want to dim your light and they, they want you to be able to allow them to keep doing that. And make you feel like this is all your life is going to be. It's full of sorrow, pain, and drama. That's where they want to be at because that's where they want to be. You are allowing yourself to say, no, this is only a pit stop. And this is the thing that's going to catapult me into something bigger and better. And there's nothing you can do or say to stop that. Only God can do that. No matter what you tend to do, if it was meant to stop me, it would have did it a long time ago. Obviously, that means that God is not finished with you yet. So you keep making those boss moves because it's really taking you some places, okay? So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Please be responsible and safe in all you're doing. Thank you so much for, you know, the likes and subscribers. Really appreciate it. With Tammy Jennings, Lee Perky, and Kyle Davis, much love to you. So if you're new to the channel, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. You know, sending so much uh, love and prayers towards everybody. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. You know, a lot of people uh, hit me up and let me know, hey, Ross, this is the things that I'm going through in my life. You know, I'm really trying to understand it. And if God blesses me with that insight, I, I have no problem with passing it to y'all. You know, I feel like it's a blessing when we can all help each other rise above all the craziness that we're going through and really understand the bigger picture of that. And I love to be a part of other people's lives that they are a part of mine. It's all about teacher-student situation. We're teaching and learning off of different people through their situations. You may be struggling with something that I've overcome or I may be struggling with certain things you have overcome and it's all about being able to help e each other being able to say nothing is not possible of overcoming you have to be able to empower yourself to see that power within yourself so you know being able to do that so whatever we discuss is highly confidential and I help out the best way I can 
also and now I see that they done changed the outlook on the daggone channels now they're doing the videos then they're doing the shorts and all this different stuff is crazy but if you go to my community section you'll find a, diff a lot of different memes you know just you know positivity uh you know, uh, post or any different changes that's going on in the world because now we're we're entering. Um, I think from yesterday, yeah, it's like no, it started on the 25th. We were hitting through Mercury and the stuff is really getting crazy. So it's gonna be like that, especially until Halloween. So it, you know, it's supposed to be a big bang. It's gonna be a big bang theory. You know, so I'm just keeping it myself. <laughs> you know, minding my own daggone business, leaving everybody else's alone. But you know, being able to do that, so. Um, it's just different stuff like that as well as my podcast i have that on there as well too if you if you're interested in that um and what else oh yeah if you feel like donating to you know you feel generous enough to donate towards the channel the cash app is there as well you know and whatever you're needing to be able to stay on bringing fruition to your you know to your vibration of you know your life you know i want to be able to send that to you whether it's confidence you know calmness healing you know uh you know eliminating pro procrastination you know a lot of times when we feel like we we feel doubtful about ourselves we really don't want to do it uh or we feel like we can't so just being able to send that vibe towards your way to be able to help you in any kind of way possible you know stay persistent and consistent stay woke never sleep on yourself you know the devil sees your potential as well as your light he'll do everything he can to deny you of that or make you feel like you have to give up he can see you telling you to give up today just because he knows that door of opportunity is going to open up tomorrow. So much love to you. Please be safe and responsible at every single thing you do. Even through social distancing. Make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. All those things can really take somebody a long way. And just because you did that with no hidden intentions or motives. It's going to take you even further. So much love to you. Namaste. Shalom. God bless. Namaste. I say peace.